there is no antivenom for the snake. So it's best to avoid this bite. You don't want uh, kidney damage. Good day. My name is Mike Perry from African Reptiles and Venom. The snake we're looking at today is called a swamp viper. Uh, these snakes are found in uh, southern parts of Malawi. They are uh, distribution in the uh, north of Zambia. They are also found in a uh, small part in Tanzania. Uh, these small dwarf vipers about the adult size that they are, as you can see here, about a 50 or 60 centimeter snake. Uh, not much is known about their uh, venom. There have been some recorded bites. Uh, none of these were fatal. A recent bite in Malawi turned out to be fatal. A uh, young mother was bitten. A 32-year-old uh, lady was bitten by one of these vipers and uh, within two minutes she was unconscious and never regained consciousness again and the uh, reports of what could have happened indicated that uh, it might have been a uh, firstly we thought anaphylactic uh, reaction from the venom which is a possibility but the um, end result from the doctor's uh, examination was that this person actually died from a uh, tremendous drop in blood pressure, um, causing the death of this person. Now these snakes also called um, domino vipers because of the pattern on the belly looks like pattern on the domino blocks with little spots on the belly that's where they get this name from domino vipers you see the snake has a yellow tail from, from the yellow there that's where the tail starts The underside is yellow. But this beautiful pattern with this yellow dotted line on each side of the pattern down the back. Right, there we've got the snake behind the head. And we're now going to get it to the beaker to extract some venom from the snake. The snake seems reluctant to want to bite. And we get the fangs going through the plastic. Get the head in place there. You can see the venom dripping in the weaker. Although people don't really get bitten by them, we know from cases from snake bites in captivity that this venom can affect the kidneys and uh, there's no antivenom for the snake so it's best to avoid this bite you don't want uh, kidney damage the person that had the kidney damage uh, was on uh, hemodialysis 
until 18 months later, a uh, kidney was donated and then uh, one kidney was replaced. So the best you avoid the snake's bite. But as we saw here just now, the snake was reluctant to bite. It just wanted to get away all the time. There wasn't even one strike from the snake. Uh, it tried to protect the head, pull the head away if any tweezers came near the head. So all in all, they're not snakes that are going to cause a major snake bite incident. I think they try and avoid contact with people. But there is always a possibility, of course, that uh, you can get bitten by a snake. Especially if you do agriculture and you work, work with um, tools that have short handles on them. Your hands are near the ground. Then there is a uh, risk of snake bite. Beautiful, beautiful little snakes. You can see the belly there. Swamp viper, Proatherus supercilialis.